Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is March 15, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. We're going to start the morning off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures this morning are trading lower by about 11 points. It's not a huge move down considering the recent rally that we've had. But nonetheless, futures are a little bit lower this morning. Uh, you did have some economic data out, but prior to the economic data, futures were out. We're down about uh, $10. Last night, the Bank of Japan really did not say anything about um, moving into more negative rates. And um, it looks like the market did not really love it. And you're getting a little downtick in the, mar in the futures today. So we'll see how this plays out. But in the meantime, there are lots of stocks to talk about. And that's where the money will be made today as a day trader. All right, first one we're going to take a look at is going to be Outer Wall. O-U-T-R is the ticker symbol. Stock looks like it is trading sharply higher today. I forget the exact news on that one. But um, anyway, you slice it or dice it. It's a pretty good move higher, so we're going to respect it. Stock right now is trading at 38.90, close at 34.39. I'm seeing here on my wire, it looks like the company is looking for strategic moves, and they did up their dividend. Um, right now, when I look at the chart, I have to think 40 is a pretty good resistance level, but nonetheless, maybe it could go through there today. But um, I am seeing some decent resistance right around the $40 level, so we'll see how that plays out. Again, um, Outer Wall is a stock that trades light volume during the day. Yesterday, in fact, it traded 353,000 million, uh, 353, shares. So stocks that trade under a million shares a day can easily overshoot levels. So just be aware of that. But um, we will be watching this one in the intraday stock chat room today. So if you want to come over and trade alongside of us, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat, and um, you will see if we play Outer Wall. Let's take a look at VRX. It looks like they came out with earnings. Stock is getting hit. Closed at $69.04. This stock is now trading at $56.90. That is a huge move down. I don't think Bill Ackman is happy about this one. But either way, um, we'll look at this stock once the opening bell rings today. There are a lot of levels down here. Um, but this will be one that most likely we will, we will be playing in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings at 9.30 this morning. Let's take a look at DSW. This is... Uh, a shoe, wear, a shoe company here, and um, what you're going to see here is the stock right now is trading at $30.29. I believe this is an earnings play. I'm looking at resistance right off the bat around 31 bucks. So I know it did briefly get above there. Maybe it does that again, but um, <clears throat> I'm seeing pretty decent resistance around the 31 and then 33 levels. So this is another one uh, you want to keep on your radar today, but DSW having a nice little pop ahead of the opening bell. Let's take a look at Children's Place. PLCE is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $75 a share. Closed at $70.68. I believe this is a new all-time high, but it is severely overbought. If you own this one, I would trail the stop loss immediately. I would not be looking to buy it up here. This move has been parabolic, and this stock is way, way overcooked at this point in time. So be very, very careful. I'll be looking at this one today for possible fading opportunities. Um, but again, right now it looks very, very strong on the chart. We'll see how it looks after the first half hour of the trading day. Let's take a look at MJN, which is Mead Johnson. And um, this stock is up sharply as well. Closed at $75.44. It's now trading at $82.89. The news behind this one is very, very simple. It's just the fact that um, it looks like uh, there's rumors of a takeover from Dannon. So again, um, there's rumors of a takeover. I don't know if the rumors are true. I don't know if they're false. All I know is if the stock gets to $85.50, there's real good resistance there, and there's more resistance at $90.20. Keep that on the radar. I uh, will be putting these up for a gap play today in the intraday stock chat room, and that will be posted right up there at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look at 3D systems today. This is on the back of a... Morgan Stanley downgrade stock closed at 1445. It's trading at 1365 right now. Morgan Stanley downgrading the stock again. This is options expiration week. Friday will be the monthly expiration for uh, the month of March. It'll also be a quadruple witching. You're going to get a lot of upgrades and downgrades today. A lot of chatter by these um, big financial institutions moving stocks. Apple is receiving the same deal here today. Apple's trading at 104. 
It looks like Morgan Stanley made positive comments. The reality of it is this is all options expiration game playing. So, you know, be careful here. You're going to see more of it. Let's take a look at Tiffany's. I forget the exact news here, but nonetheless, um, Tiffany's this morning, I believe, is trading lower, and you're going to see the stock is trading at $70.60. It looks like this is a Citigroup downgrade. So, again, um, we'll see how that plays out. But um, nonetheless, the stock, in my opinion, still has a lot of support around the 68 and a quarter level. Um, but nonetheless, it is trading lower today. So, again, lots of, lots of stocks out here in the news. Lots of upgrades and downgrades. I believe Whirlpool was another one, WHR. And that was, um, I believe, also had an up upgrade, um, <clears throat> I believe, to overweight from neutral. And that's by J.P. Morgan Chase. This is just the, the week of upgrades and downgrades. You're going to see how that plays out. Avon Products, AVP, looks like they're moving to uh, England. They're going to lay off 2,500 workers in the U.S. And uh, right now the stock is trading at $4.35. Again, a lot of resistance there around 460. We'll see how that plays out today. All right, let's take a look at the gold market today. Gold is down $8.60. We're not going to make too much out of it. Gold has been selling off the last few days, right now trading at 1263, excuse me, 1236 an ounce. Crude oil is down another dollar and nine cents today. Yesterday the market didn't care about crude oil being lower. We'll see how it reacts today. Either way, crude is trading at $36.11 a barrel. But when crude is down, it can affect the energy stocks. You want to take note of that. Energy accounts for roughly 16% of the S&P 500. All right. With that being said, everybody, we're going to leave it here short and sweet. If you want to come over and trade with us, we're having a sensational 2016 in the intraday stock chat room. That'll start up right around 9 o'clock in the morning. And again, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat at inthemoneystocks.com. And you'll see everything that we're doing there. we got lots of plays in action today. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.